Hi ladies, so I just wanted to make a quick video about something that we all discuss a lot and that's um, wigs sliding back. And a lot of people say they don't wear wig caps because they pop off their head and, um, and so they're just trying to figure out how to get their wigs to stay on. So I always wear a wig cap. Um, they slide off my head if I don't um, prep them properly. There's some brands that I don't have to do this. I haven't figured out which ones, but some of them, they slide off my head and I even have a tiny head. So I usually have to get them wet and stretch them out and then um, that'll help. But also, um, I think hair makes a big difference. When my hair was longer, it was silkier and that would cause shifting. And even now my hair, like I had shaved it at one point, but it's like this long now, so it gets poofy. So that, even though like I use its days, um, when my hair was shorter, this was not an issue at all. But now that it's longer, I'll use the wig cap, and even though I use its days, um, I could feel it shifting, and I wanted to show you, like you can see um, the shininess right there. So I put it up to here just to hide my widow's peak and you could see that shine so it shifted all that much and now granite like I could feel it being like I could I could feel it and it feels tighter and you you like like I'll always do like check someone I'll just scratch my head because I swear it feels like it's just like lifting like like a facelift you know um, but nobody sees it. It's, it's something that, um, happens underneath. And I know when I was, we got my son's pictures taken and, um, I didn't do use it stays or anything like that. And I could feel the wig cap, um, it popped off underneath my head. You couldn't tell because I asked my husband, but like meanwhile I'm sitting there just going like this because I could feel like the wig cap was popping off um but no one could see it was underneath so um and then today I should just get my hair cut I'm just lazy I guess I don't know but um I could feel the wig cap like tightening and so I kept trying to check the bathroom and it was still like it was still you know intact but, um, it was, I could just feel it. So I just wanted to point out, like, you know, I would do this, like I'm doing it right now and I can feel it being tight, but you don't see anything moving. So just, it's something that we have to figure out how to get resolved. And like I said, when my hair is sh shorter, um, which I, I want to shave the top, but I feel like if I leave these sideburns out, the little ones that I have, and then keep like the base at the neck, I don't know if you can see that, but keep that longer, then it helps. But I think even keeping it, I think the longest razor clip, um, I don't know what you call those, but it's like an inch long. So I think even that would help. But I feel like up here needs to be shorter because it, it's causing it like a little poof factor to go on and so even though I'm using it stays um it's not working now when my hair was longer what helped was getting my hair wet and slicking it back a little bit not soaking wet but like a spray bottle and brush it back and I would even use gel and then put the it stays on but now my hair is like you know I guess like that long it's like fluffy it's like poofy and so that is causing um my wig to shift it doesn't do it every day it's it's positional I'm not gonna lie so for those of you who think that um you can't ever wear um like you can't get your wig to stay or it stays doesn't work or you can't use a wig cap you can you just have to play around with your hair where you place the wig cap and where you place your wig um and, and you know, I've been wearing wigs for years. So I'm not like this big expert, but I'm experimenting. So I'm sharing that with um, you guys. So, um, 
yeah so it's just and and the thing is the nice thing about the way like this wig is this is Carrie by John Renault uh salt caramel in case anybody cares but um it needs to get washed oh there's like a hair in my face um but the nice thing about the way this lays it's not off my face so if it was off my face like that and it shifted it might be a little more noticeable but honestly with this color and everything I mean the fact that that's shiny you know kind of gives it away but this little widow's peak kind of helps look like that's like my hair so um, that's like a little added bonus if you have like a widow's peak um, unless you have like dark hair and you're trying to wear like super blonde hair probably won't work out if there's no rooting but um anyways so if you know you have your hair off the face too much and you can feel that sliding it uh you know might be a little more noticeable but with one like this where it's just enough to where you can't see what's going on the thing is about this wig is you know there's just that line right there it's really good quality wig but um like you would look ridiculous without adding baby hair so I pull it sideways but the point that I'm trying to make is that um there is hope for you if you feel like you can't wear wig caps wig caps are really good they help with um keeping your head cool they help with itching help with itching big time and like I said you just gotta try different brands some brands slide off my head and it takes some time to stretch them out I gotta get them wet and stretch them out really a whole lot which is just so weird because I have a tiny head but so just try that keep that in mind there's different brands you got to try out also if your hair is a certain length or a certain like poofiness like mine is um that can affect how the wig cap is staying on even with it stays and i'll let my it stays dry for like you know at least five minutes so it's very sticky but even after i feel like it's secure because my hair is like poofy it just seems to affect the lift and it didn't do that before so that's how I can tell that it's getting longer and I need to cut it um, so that's something else that you can keep in mind um, is the length of your hair and um, also just so you know that you as long as you anchor down you like you use the it stays like right here and right here and like right over here that's gonna help a lot um but uh if like if you can feel it like look I can feel it moving all I just I know it's like silly but I just want to show you that I'm moving it around and though I can feel it nobody um it's not you can't see it underneath now it's definitely slid because like my ear tabs are right here and this was a regular size cap and I have a petite head um I did have this wig taken in and the lady did it a little wrong, but um, I had stretched it out, but still, just the way my hair laid down today, um, so I just threw it on, the wig, the ear tabs are right here, and they're normally, like, down there. So it had shifted quite a bit, but with the way this, lay, this hair lays, you can't see it. So that's what I want you to know, is that you can feel this stuff going on. If your hair is on a ponytail, like up high, that's a different story. But if it's down like this, then while you feel like there's a hot mess going on underneath your hair, nobody can see it. So at least while you're trying to figure out what works, you can take comfort in the fact um, that no one can see what's going on. Even, like I said, when I had a wig on and I didn't have any, um, it stays on or anything, just the wig cap, I could feel the wig cap popping right off. But the wig stayed right where it was supposed to. You couldn't see what was going on underneath my head. Um, so um, I just wanted to share these things with people because um, I know that that's something that gets discussed a lot in different um, like Facebook groups and it's just like a big concern is getting wig caps to stay on, getting it stays to stay, how to keep your wig from sliding. So it's a work in progress and you just gotta try these different tricks to see if they help you and like try different wig cap brands, try the placement of the wig cap with um, the wig, try where you place the it say lay, lay it in it dry. If I put it on and like a minute later put it on the wig, 
um, it'll slide more. So I usually wait like a good five minutes. And, um, and then just, uh, you know, how you place the head, how the length of your hair, and then just know that if you have your hair down like this, it's not, people can't see what's going on underneath your head. You know, you can feel it and it can make you super paranoid. Just know that it's, you can feel it more than what they can see. Um, so that's all I have to share for um, tonight. And uh, thanks for watching.